So I think technically you should probably not have this hanging on the wall. Like it should be hanging from a window or the ceiling so that it can sit level. So I think the only reason the shelves are angled is just because I have it hanging on the wall and it shouldn't be. But this is an awesome three-tiered shelf, maybe for your plants, maybe for whatever you want it to be. Um, it's in great condition. Any knots that I saw that weren't knotted, I re-tied and then I lint rolled this thing 50 million times and I can already see some black hairs. So if you are wanting this, then just know that I'm gonna say they had cats or something. Not sure if you can even see those on the screen. There's one. Um, and don't pay attention to my fingernails because I was just repotting some stuff. But I lint rolled this thing 50 million times to try and get all the cat hair off of it, or I'm assuming it was cat hair, but I can see now that I did not get it all. But this is really in good condition. The bottom of it is kind of like plywood, and then it has like this wicker or rattan, or I don't even know, weave, basket weave um, on the top part of the shelf. But all of the strings are intact. There is a little bit of discoloration in some spots. And I was thinking maybe like a magic eraser or something would get, get that cleaned up a little bit, but I did not try that and I am not going to. So other than probably lint rolling it a couple more times for you, I will not like do anything else to it other than trying to get some more cat hair off. But if you're allergic to cat hair, then this might not be a good piece for you. And don't give them away. I said, they're really worth a lot of money. They are. And especially if you like go buy, oh, you want, it. yeah, I've never really heard this. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we would, my husband has construction, and every time they build a new house, or, like, we go out there, and I started collecting like, black hands, but then I was like, I want these rocks. So. Well, my wife used to like that. And then all of a sudden, she's she yelling at me for bringing them home. Yeah. And I think they're neat. Yeah. I figured we didn't have grandkids, and I was just coming, and I told her, we're going to have grandkids one day. And by God, they're going to love going through the rocks. I need an old barrel pen. Yeah, oh, I see. That's one thing I've never found is the arrow pen. Yeah. 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 Anytime I got an arrow pen, I got one of those projects. Hey guys, it's Brooke from the Junk Parlor. So I was upstairs cleaning with a sweatshirt on and I got super hot and so I took it off. And then I came down here and I've been doing some things in the lower level and now I literally have goosebumps. I'm editing this video and the whole time I'm recording it, I'm absolutely clueless as to what my hair looks like. So this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> getting out of the shower and what I did was twisted it up put a little clip on it and then I guess by the time I actually started talking to you it just kept falling and falling so ignore my hair so one the lower level is cold and two it must be something about when I stop moving slow down a little bit I freeze, but I've been cleaning today because it needed it. I hate cleaning. In Centerville, I was lucky enough to have a cleaning lady and I really miss that because it's like a constant fight for our family. My kids are, what are they even? 15 and 17, they both just had birthdays that are in the house. And if I ask them to do anything, you would think I am asking them to do something that's gonna take them a year to accomplish and that it's something that I don't ever do myself. I'm sure your kids aren't like that and you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but sometimes it's just easier to do things yourself because you don't have to listen to people bicker. And then I can just complain about doing everything because no one helps me. But I like my house to be clean. For the most part, I like my house to be picked up. I don't really 
The cleanliness isn't as big a deal, but I want it to be picked up. But it was getting so dusty and so much, so many dust bunnies floating around that I had to do a little bit of deep cleaning. Plus, I still haven't shared with you the laundry room reveal, but we had a whole ordeal. So the washing machine died and then we had to like fix it and get into it and stuff. And then that bumped off the dryer. The dryer vents lined up the hole on the, the vent on the back, the hole on the dryer on the back, the vent part, the hole in the wall, which they put up probably eight inches off the floor stupid. So, and the holes are basically the same size, but I wanted them to go together so that it's tight and the dryer is tight against the wall and there's more room in the laundry room. I explained this in the laundry video if you want to watch that, but it got loose. So all the taping that I had done to seal it up really nice and tight, that all got loose and then we couldn't get it to go back in the hole. And even if we got the thing lined up, it all needed retaped, and it's so tight against the wall. I can't just like lay on the dryer and tape it off with my hand because my hand can't even fit back there. And I did all of that by myself, right? Moving all the the washer and dryer around and putting the two by fours in and getting it all lined up. And then I had to listen to my husband cry about having to move things and like how hard it was. And it's like I don't even want to hear it. I did this all by myself. It can be done. I need you to move this out for me because it's easier for you because you're stronger. I'm gonna crawl back and I just squeezed in between the washing machine and the wall. We got it lined up, I retaped it, I hop out and then we push it back. All of this while we have tornado sirens going off. But no, we really did take a time out and came, came to the basement. No tornado damage in our surrounding area at our house. So. Needless to say, for the last month or whatever, dryer vent, what do you even call it? Fluff, dryer lint stuff, has been floating into the air in the laundry room. So that needed deep cleaned. And then just basically, you would think living on a gravel road would be more dusty and dirty than living in the city, but so far it has not been. Um, I would say it's the same and I don't know if it's because there's so much construction going on around us. So it'll be interesting this year. They are not doing as much construction. Like the construction is pretty much done. There's no house getting built right next door, et cetera, et cetera. So it'll be interesting to see how much dirt there is. So anyway, I guess I'm feeling like chatting today. Enough storytelling. I did not have a very big haul this week, but I did want to share it with you. I have stuff behind me that is from the Peck Thing flea market and the Elkhorn flea market. And I will be taking you with me to both of those flea markets and then sharing both of my hauls from each of those flea markets. If you can't wait to see what Peck Thing and Elkhorn flea market are like, I will link them up here and or in the description and from last year and you can go and watch those but i will have some updated videos coming soon so i try to put out a video every tuesday and thursday so make sure you check that out so when i say that i got a small haul i got a small haul so we will start i'm weird i like some taxidermy stuff i saw a big ram at elkhorn flea market and i sent matt a picture and i said i really think we need this and he you know, sent some kind of facial emoji basically saying, hell no, which I was just teasing him, but I did really like <laughs> the stuffed ram. Now, he does not know it yet, but I got, not a stuffed ram, but I got this um, duck. Now, Gary says the duck's head is supposed to move. He has a ton of them that are um, have movable heads. I, I don't know about that. We'll just say that's what it is. It's not mounted on anything. So there's like a, like a, like a bowling pin base here on the bottom. And actually at Elkhorn, I got a little stand. So I'm going to put the little stand with my goose because 
when I bought him, I was thinking I would just put him in my built-ins up on the top so that he's looking down at us. But then, I don't know, I bought a lot of new things for my house lately and I, I want to have some time so I can just focus on redecorating and record that process with you and walk you through what I'm doing and, and what I basically, I have some things that I love and I want to incorporate them into my house. So I got to figure out how to do that. I also, I hung up those three like window pane dividers in the hallway, like well, it's not really a hallway, but like in the stairway that goes down to the lower level. It's also in our dining room. And I like it the best out of anything that I've had, but I'm not in love with it. So I'm debating taking our little goose here, putting him on that little shelf, and then doing a couple of my very old canvas paintings, the ducks and the deer, and putting them in there and kind of doing like a gallery wall, but like a simplified gallery wall. So like not crazy maximalist busy because I already have the the mirrors displayed kind of on the other side of our little closet. The closet kind of splits the two sections, but it's very hard to get to. I've talked about this before and no, my neighbor's ladder is not really tall enough that it helps me on the stairs. I mean, I can put it on the stairs, but I'm still not tall enough to like nail things and move things around. So I need to find a better ladder. I need to figure out what I'm going to do and I wanna actually do it. So the goose there, he is not for sale. He is not perfect or anything, but Gary gave him to me for a good price. At the thrift store, I did find this blue swirl colander and now I'm drawing a blank at which thrift store I got it at. But this was the only thing that I picked up and it's like the perfect amount of distressed and it also is a good marking uh, one, which I can't even re read it. I wanna say it's like Austria maybe, but this is $30, nice and big one. And then I actually found another one of these at Elkhorn Flea Market, which I thought was just random, but I didn't need another horse butt because I already have one. <laughs> but this just lays down on like your counter and then it has an old tag with it that tells you what it is. It says a bottle opener used to open sodas and beer form, should be from, 1900 to the 40s and 50s. And I just thought that was super cute. So here is the bottle opener and here is the horse's butt. And actually doing a little bit of research, there would have been a head, horse's head with it too in the cast iron and it had a bottle opener on it as well. So I only have the back side. So our horse is $40, and you can hardly tell on this one, but it does say Ruble, New Jersey, USA, and I actually think this is cast aluminum, not cast iron. Another heavy duty piece that I got, again, I think it's cast iron, it might be cast aluminum. This one's too much covered with paint that I can't tell. And I couldn't find one. Well, I think I did find one that was exactly the same, but there's a lot of variables on this one. So this is a door knocker and it's a woodpecker. Now woodpecker doesn't like to sit completely perfect. I mean, pretty close, but you can see there's a little spot here that his, um, I wanted to say pecker, but that sounded dirty. What would it be? His beak? <laughs> His beak would go into to knock. So he, he wants to sit a little cockeyed, but still beautiful. You wouldn't even have to put this on a door if you didn't want to. You could literally hang it anywhere. And our woodpecker, I didn't see any markings on it as far as maker's mark, but this is $40 also. Okay, so like I said, it was a teeny tiny haul this week, but I appreciate you watching. Remember that you can purchase these items. All you have to do is drop a comment down below or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram and we'll get shipping calculated and get you invoiced and taken care of. So make sure if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button, ring the bell so that you get notified when I share 
my Elkhorn Flea Market and Peck Fang Flea Market hunting adventures and hauls. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.